Hey, shalom everyone. This is a Amir Tsarfati. I am live from Invertness, um, <clears throat> the mouth of this river, River Ness, that goes to Loch Ness, which is the famous, the famous um, lake here in the highlands of Scotland. We are on our latter phase of our family vacation here in Scotland. Uh, we were in Ireland, in the UK, um, and uh, we'll go back home very soon. A um, <clears throat> couple words that I think are extremely important for all of you to consider um, based on uh, everything I know as of this morning, okay? So uh, watch this. First of all, it is official and everybody in, in the intelligence community knows that that Iran is militarily already nuclear which means they have everything they need for a bomb okay that's that's something you've heard from me quite a long t time ago and now we we have to uh, address that but but let me explain what we are hearing in the last few days in the last few days so watch this. Iran understands that its proxies all around Israel are limited. They're limited because Israel is acting against them. From the north, it's Lebanon and Syria. From the east, it is Iraq and Iran. And from the south, it is Gaza and it is Yemen. If you followed my report, uh, from just a few days ago, you know that we acted in Yemen. But if you follow all of my report, you know that um, we've been acting not only there. Now, in the last couple of days, the head of the Revolutionary Guards, Hussein Salami, General Salami, just added this. He said, after we have equipped the Palestinians in Gaza with enough weapon to become a threat and a proxy of Iran. Right now, we are arming the Palestinians in the West Bank, which means in Judea and Samaria, which by the way explains the wave of uh, arrests that the Israeli um, uh, Secret Service and IDF are, are, are doing in the last couple, uh, two, three months, almost every night we are arresting terror infrastructure all across Judea and Samaria. Now, let me give you the picture of what we have around us for two reasons. One, for you to pray. Two, for you to be wiser when you read your Bible. So first of all, Hezbollah, and Iraq, Iranian militias in Syria are already armed with over, altogether, with over 150,000 rockets. In Gaza, Hamas has about 10,000 rockets. Yemen has tens of thousands of rockets. And uh, of course, Iran and the Iraqi uh, militias that are loyal to Iran, they have hundreds of thousands of rockets. So when, when we're talking about rockets towards Israel, we're talking about a rain of rockets that they are planning on having uh, launched simultaneously whenever the day comes. Now, Israel is well aware of that, and we have developed several ways to <clears throat> to deal with that the iron dome is just one it's one that is giving us answers for short range missiles when i say short range i'm talking about anything from two to maybe 50 kilometers maybe a little bit more that's it 
the rockets that's supposed to fly from Iran or Iraq or Yemen are ballistic rockets. They are, they fly much higher and they are much bigger with a bigger engine also. And they can be detected much earlier and destroyed in the atmosphere already before even reaching our territory. For that, Israel developed several other layers of defense, missile defense systems. Israel is in its final stage right now of developing a laser system, laser beam that will be mounted not only on vehicles that will shoot it upwards, but also on airplanes that will shoot it straight forward. What the plan of the Israelis is to have an airplane always in the air, equipped with that system, ready to send a laser beam to destroy those rockets. The difference between the laser system and the rocket system is a rocket, like the Iron Dome one, it costs us $100,000 for one rocket to shoot down a $200 rocket that the Palestinians built. A laser beam costs you nothing, literally costs you nothing. You don't have to worry about it. So in reality, Israel is preparing for that. Now comes, now comes something else. In our, in our reality today, one of the biggest allies of Iran is Russia. Russia is now a customer of Iran. Russia is buying from Iran drones. Iran is training the Russians how to operate the drones. And Russia is now fully committed to standing on the side of Iran. Add to that the fact that Europe is desperately in need for other sources of energy because of the Russian uh, uh, Ukrainian problem and uh, therefore Europe is desperately wa wanting to sign a deal with Iran. On the way Europe is willing to accept Iran as nuclear. Europe is willing not to include the Revolutionary Guards as a terror organization, not to even talk about that. And Europe is ready to basically accept all the demands of Iran. Iran demands sanctions being lifted, money to be flowed, and, and their pockets to be filled with trillions of dollars. America, listen to this, America is about to agree. All the signs are, on, are showing us that America is about to return to the nuclear deal with Iran. This one is a 50,000 times worse than the one before. If America thought that it was a bad deal before and walked away from it, this is a much worse one. And, and if, if it, an administration is walking towards it, this, it's a, a committing suicide basically for America. Now, how do we deal with this type of news? We have two options. One option is to start having anxiety and fear, not sleeping well, and, um, and worrying. The other one is this. You're, you need to ask yourself, okay, if that type of war is around the corner, and if the rise of the Antichrist will bring temporary peace to that part of the world as a result of that war, you can imagine how close we are to the rapture of the church. And that's supposed to give the believer two things. A, a call for sanctification, and B, a call for urgency to, re to reach out to the lost. Uh, so sanctification for your own life, reaching out to the lost is for the others all around you. We should not be at any point 
even slightly surprised at these news. I've been reporting news for the longest time, never, never with any hint that there will be wonderful peace in the Middle East. If anything, what we've been talking about forever is a war that is looming, not a peace. There will be fake peace that will be introduced by a fake messiah, but nothing more than that. So, this type of news should cause you this type of news should cause you to be on your knees to pray, but more so. Let me uh, let me fix the excuse me.